Hey, I'm Jeff and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to propagate an anthurium by stem cutting and then I'm going to show you the almost two month growth update. I think there's some pretty cool results in this little perlite prop box, so let's get into it. This is my anthurium quarimalens. It's not looking the greatest right now. This is the newest leaf. It's got some blemishes as well as some yellowing. Uh, this one's getting a little bit crispy. The leaf on the back here is even worse. It's uh, pretty much dried up, not looking the greatest at all. I think it's having a tough time acclimating to my house and even the newest tiny little leaf here just kind of dried up and the stem is rotting. So I wanted to chop this up just to kind of rejuvenate the growth, learn from it and to see if I can get uh, more plants from this one stem. So I'm going to start off by dismantling this support stake. I'm going to remove the plant velcro tape there. I'm going to cut in between two nodes just like this so that I have a top cutting. It has two nodes and one leaf. That way it can continue to grow from the top, hopefully. I'm gonna cut off, unfortunately, these uh, two larger leaves here just because when I put them in the perlite prop box, it's obviously gonna to be too large. So I'm just gonna take single node cuttings and this leaf has gotta go as well. I'm just gonna snip there and take one more node cutting like that and then there's gonna be a root stuck in here I'm just gonna snip that off and hopefully it can grow here's what the nodes look like it's got some pretty fuzzy roots they look pretty cool actually so I'm gonna see if they grow from there or if they grow entirely new roots here are the two cuttings that I'm gonna put in the perlite prop box so here's what I'm left with just a stump in a pot of soil I'm just gonna leave it as is and kind of learn how it grows I'm gonna see where the new growth point pops out of I'm gonna cut this leaf off as well uh, this top cutting is gonna go in the perlite prop box as well and hopefully it gets new growth Unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to discard of these crispy leaves. It's actually pretty sad because they are still quite beautiful. I just love how large they are. Now I'm just gonna place it on the floor underneath my Soltec Growlite and we'll check back in a little while to see how the new growth is going. Okay, so it's been about two months. You can see there is a new growth point coming from the side of the stem, uh, just above the node it looks like, and it's got uh, one tiny little leaf. The leaf is a little bit deformed and I'm kind of chalking that up to uh, let the soil get a little bit too dry or maybe the humidity is a little bit too low, but that's okay. I'm just gonna let it continue to grow and see how it uh, forms. The roots look really good on this. I did have to give it some water. Like I said, it was absolutely bone dry. My mistake, I shouldn't have let it get that dry, but I uh, gave it a good soaking this morning. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with this new growth point if I'm going to have to support it as it uh, continues to grow upright, but everything looks really good right now. The root system, uh, nice healthy large roots and like I said they look uh, a little fuzzy they're almost velvety they're pretty cool and again the roots uh, they look really healthy in the pot now let's check out the ones in the perlite prop box here this one has gotten a new leaf it's absolutely perfect there's no blemishes it's not deformed you can see the growth point is coming out I guess from the side as well so I'm probably gonna have to pot it up on its side like this and let it grow upright here is a cute little alocasia black velvet corm now for the second leaf you can see the leaf itself is much smaller and there's a little bit of deformity at the very bottom I think it's super cool how the new growth point uh, just splits through the main stem. There's no new roots on this one either, but I think it's just a cute little uh, cute little leaf. Now for the top cutting, you can see there is a little bit of rotting at the tip there, so that's probably not good. And also a little portion where a leaf was attached is kind of rotting as well, so I'm gonna have to clean that up before I put it back. If you've never seen root rot before, I'm just gonna show this cutting right here. The roots on the bottom, they're really squishy, and if you can easily remove the outer sheath like that, and there's a really stringy root on the inside, it's rotten, so this is of no use to the plant. I'm just gonna cut these off, as I don't want there to be any more rot on the stem. I just cut the roots off, and I just can't get over how perfect this leaf is. It turned out flawless, so I'm just gonna put it back in the perlite for now. I'm going to cut this top cutting in half as I want there to be potentially two new plants as it really didn't work out from the top. Here is my anthurium regal propagation. I did have a larger chunk which I cut up into three pieces and unfortunately it looks like I cut through uh, half of the growing eye but it was still able to produce a growing point and a large new root. So. Yeah, it uh, turned out really well. I'm happy that I was able to get another cutting from this larger chunk. I'm actually gonna slice this off now and put it in some soil. So it's coming out of the prop box. I'm just gonna cut it like that. And you can see the uh, one large root is coming from a very small portion of the stem, which is pretty cool. And there's a, a little bit of a growth point left. I'm just gonna add some rooting hormone to the bottom of the cutting so that it uh, not only seals off the uh, end of the freshly cut uh, portion, 
but uh, hopefully it produces uh, some new roots as well. I'm putting it in a mixture of tropical plant soil uh, as well as orchid bark. This is just a really well-draining mix. I'm gonna hold it kind of in position where I want it, and then I'm just going to backfill or fill in with some soil. Obviously, I'm gonna give it some water here in a minute, but I just want it positioned properly in the pot so that it remains upright and stable, just like that. Now I'm going to make sure it's thoroughly watered. You can see it's coming out the bottom of the drain hole. I've already given it a couple soakings. I'm going to give it maybe a couple more here, just making sure that the soil settles as well as there's water around those roots. Anytime you remove a cutting from a prop box, which is a high moisture, high humidity environment, you just wanna make sure that it acclimates to the new conditions properly. So I'm placing it in this pot here with a lid. That way it can hold in the moisture and hopefully transition to its new environment uh, quickly. It's a little mini greenhouse pot from the dollar store. It does have a little toggle here at the top for venting. I'm just gonna open up the vent so it can get some fresh air. So hopefully this regal and the aquarium lens adjust to their new conditions. So I think that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it down below. Otherwise, thanks again for watching my videos. I appreciate all the support. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye.